Hey, I had a question the other day. I actually had a couple comments on a video where I mentioned electrostatic filters. In fact, that particular video, I think we were talking more about media filters and someone was commenting and saying, hey, I like electrostatic filters. I think electrostatic filters are good in theory. I think if you are a homeowner that happens to see this video and you're considering electrostatic filter or possibly you already have one in your home, I think they're a thing of the past. I think that they're a little antiquated. I know that there are a lot of other guys that still believe believe in them, but those were something that we pushed more 20, 30 years ago. When I first got in this trade, I haven't been in this trade 30 years, but I have been over 20 years now. I remember it was something that we pushed back then. In fact, it's more likely if I lay hands on an older system that has any air quality products at all, I'm most likely laying hands on an electrostatic filter, not a UV light or some of the air cleaners we see today. So do I think electrostatic filters are bad? Do I think that they're snake oil? Do I think that they're a waste of money? I don't think they're snake oil. I don't think that they're bad, but I do think that they're a waste of money. Why? Because I think there are better products on the market that do the same thing, if not better, that electrostatic filters do. But the reason I really hate electrostatic filters, and this is what this gentleman and I were talking about, is I was saying that, look, electrostatic filters are rendered useless because they're not taken care of. In fact, in my entire career, I could probably count on less than one hand how many people actually care for their electrostatic filter regularly like they should. A lot of our homeowners, when I mention to them, hey, you have an electrostatic filter on your system and I need to clean the cells and make that filter new again, a lot of them didn't even know they had it to start with. Maybe they forgot, maybe they had no idea to start with, maybe they bought the house and didn't realize it was there. But regardless, a lot of folks will see that little red light in there, whatever color light it is, that's on that electrostatic electrostatic filter and they'll think that, oh yeah, I'm I'm cleaning my air. This is great because they don't take care of it. I mean, a lot of them should be cleaned regularly. I would say at least annually, but I would dare argue that they should be cleaned every quarter, if not every month. Depends on the traffic in your home and the type of system you have. Definitely every quarter, I would say that those cells should be clean. Otherwise, it is a useless product. You have a dirty filter and it's not cleaning the air like you are believing it is. So that's my whole thing. I think that they're useless because no one takes care of them like they're supposed to. So this gentleman's comment was, well, does that make the product useless just because folks don't take care of their system? Should you not sell us great car just because you gotta put a certain fuel in it? I think that was the analogy he used. And my answer to that is, yeah, you should not be selling people products that are gonna be rendered useless. That's my opinion. Nobody takes care of them like they should, rendering them useless. So why would you try to upsell someone the one? Especially when you could get them in a high Merv media filter that will do the job and then there's other products that will ionize the air or clean the air better anyway in my opinion so if you're in the market for a heating and air system and you've got a guy pushing an electrostatic filter on you i'm not saying it's bad i'm not saying he's bad but i am saying that if you do decide to pull the trigger and put another electrostatic filter in your home that you need to be on top of it. you need to make sure it's being cleaned often otherwise you just paid money for a useless product just my opinion i learned it from the guy that I learned from that was always his thoughts obviously passed down on me that's my reasoning for it and I hope that helps thanks for watching hit that subscribe button we'll see you next time